It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to cover a pretty cool application that I saw when I was speaking to one of you guys, uh, Scott Thompson. He is uh, one of the subscribers and he's a really great guy. He knows a lot about this stuff. Um, he's got a, a really cool blog as well called scottabyte.org so I'll link to that in the description but as we were talking the other day I saw that he had a thing called Google search which is pretty cool looking um, and it's basically Google search but for privacy. So it takes away the ads, it takes away the JavaScript, it takes away the AMP files, it takes away all of this extra stuff away from Google, and then just gives you the Google results that you're looking for, which I think is pretty awesome. And of course, this is open source, so it's out there on GitHub, and I'll link to the GitHub page as well. But as you move down, you'll start to notice they have lots of different ways to install this, so you don't have to do it the way that I'm going to, which is with Docker. But they have lots of different ways to, to install and run this as well. They have all kinds of information and stuff out here on the on the actual GitHub page. But when we get down into the installation area, you'll see there's just different ways to do it. And I think that's pretty great when they give you lots of different options. So you don't have to do it one way or the other. You can kind of find the way that fits best for your needs. Uh, I am a Docker person, and most of the time we do Docker things on here. So today we're going to go with the Docker install because it's pretty easy to do. So right here you'll see that they've got a couple of commands that make it pretty easy to get Google set up and running. And you'll see uh, that this is the command that we want. And we're just going to modify this a little bit so that we don't have to do this Docker pool. Basically, we're just going to use the Docker run uh, command here. We're just going to copy this, make it really easy, and we'll go SSH into the server that we want to run it on. If that's on your local machine, just open up a terminal. I want to say thank you to all of my patrons over at Patreon and my subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love doing this channel. I love making this media and this content for you. I hope you enjoy it as well. I do post all of the videos now over at Patreon after one of my patrons made the suggestion, and I don't know why it didn't dawn on me before that. But if you're interested in seeing them through Patreon and getting notifications through Patreon instead of through YouTube or hoping that YouTube's algorithms happens to show it to you, jump over and become a supporter on Patreon, patreon.com. I've got the links in the description and the show notes. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to make a directory called Google Search. Now you can name this directory anything that you want. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but it's a place to store what we're going to do. Then we're going to create, we're going to CD into that directory. And we're going to create a file called uh, docker run.txt. We're just going to paste in that docker run command that we just copied. And we're just going to arrow back here a little bit. And you can see that we're going to get the latest version and what image that is. And then it's going to be named Google Search, which is fine. And it's going to be detached. So normally we see this as dash D. And then our port numbers that we're going to set up. So I'm going to set this as 5080 just because I don't know if I have 5000 already taken on this machine or not. But if 5000 is a free port on your machine, you're welcome to use that. In fact, we'll leave it. Um, so we're going to go back and we'll see that we've got port 5000 on the host mapped to port 5000 on the container. Pretty easy. And then, of course, this is publish. Uh, we don't need to do publish. We can just do hyphen P one time here. And then we have Docker run. So we're just going to save this. And then we'll uh, copy this command now that we've made some modifications to it. So I'm just going to make this a little smaller for just a second so I can get the whole command here and I'm going to copy this guy and then we're going to exit out of this and we will just run the command so with control shift V you'll see that it's going to start running it's going to go out and pull down Google search and it's going to get that thing running for us now this is running on my local network 200 megabit download so that'll tell you about what you can expect for download times if you're running a spinning drive it may take a little longer because i do have an ssd going but we can see here now that we should be able to get to the google search page now it may take it a minute to start up so you may have to give it a, a minute or so but we'll we'll kind of go check on it and see how things are going here we'll just open up a new tab and we're going to go to the ip address of the server we set this up on and then port 5000 and it brings us right to the Google search page so if we want to see is this really pulling the results that I expect we can do something pretty easy to test that and then we can go out to google.com and we can break this off of here just like we did the other one and then we'll take it over to this half of the screen so we'll look at Google and Google side by side. So we're gonna go out and run these searches side by side and we'll see what the results look like. 
So if I go and search for Ansible, just as a simple thing to do, you'll see on the on the other side over here we get Ansible is simple IT automation. We're going to get Ansible and Ansible.com as our first result here. Over on the Google side, you see we get Ansible and Ansible.com as our first result. And then we get the people also ask uh, section, except it's collapsed. So here it's expanded, here it's collapsed. Then we get Ansible software, Ansible GitHub. We get some video links and other posts down here below it. Same thing on both sides, you'll notice. And as we keep scrolling up, we've got, we've got Red Hat Ansible and Red Hat Ansible. Below that, we've got Ansible software from Wikipedia, Ansible software from Wikipedia. So you can see that we are getting the exact same results. Now let's go look up something that might give us a few ads because Ansible didn't really do that. Let's look up Microsoft Visual Studio. And I want to type this the same on both sides. So if I make a mistake in spelling, I want to make it on both sides. So we'll search here and then we'll search here. Now, I have ad blockers on, so some of the ads aren't going to show up here on Google, but there's a lot of other stuff that also happens inside of Google besides ads. Uh, but you can see, again, we're getting essentially the same results that we get regardless of whether we're using Google or whether we're using Google. So now we've got a privacy-based Google search here that really helps us do some things that are not so out there on the Internet for everybody to be collecting, in particular Google themselves. And I think it was really a super simple setup. Now, once you've got this setup, you might be asking yourself, okay, well, I mean, how do I, how do I get to this without having to actually remember that IP address? So there's a few different ways that you can do that. So I run Homer today, and right here I've got it set up. Now, I don't have the icon yet, but I've got just a simple shortcut that opens up Google, but it opens it up on a different machine. So I've got Google running on another machine where I was testing it, but then I've also got Google running here on this other uh, machine. So I've got it running in two different machines right now. It's a very lightweight uh, container. It doesn't really take up any resources, but there you go. Um, so you can set up something like this where you've got a link on your dashboard that'll take you on your private network right to the IP address that you want. Now, if you're wanting to access this from more than just your private network, you can set up a VPN or you can set up like Nginx Proxy Manager and set that to go to Google. Uh, so if we go to our Nginx Proxy Manager, we can, of course, set this up as well with a shortcut. So we'll go to Nginx Proxy Manager. We log in. We're going to add a new host, and we're going to call this google.routemehome.org in my case. This is what I use to get to my home network. And then I'm going to give it the IP address of the host machine and the actual port number that we set it up with. Now, we could do cache assets, WebSocket support, all those things. We can do block common exploits, but the rest of this we don't really want to set because we want to have this thing actually going out and getting everything set up for us. So we're going to do save. And now we've got that link, which is right here. So we're going to just click on that, and it should open it up. And there it is. Great. Now we can go back into Nginx Proxy Manager, and we can edit that entry. By, right, by going down here to the end, clicking on the three dots, and then clicking on Edit. And we're going to go over to the SSL tab, and we're going to say Request a New Certificate. I'm going to click Force SSL, so it always brings up my SSL page. I'm going to make sure my email address is there, and I'm going to agree to the terms from Let's Encrypt, and I'm going to click Save. When that window goes away, as long as you don't get any errors, you can click on this again. And now you're going to get the HTTPS version of this, and you can go out and still do your web searches. So if we say Awesome open source I may not be the first option up there so it gives you a lot of open source projects which is great and then here's the awesome open source YouTube channel which is of course one of the greatest things ever so if you haven't already please subscribe click that thumbs up let, it, let YouTube know that you like this video and you like the information I'm providing Google is a really great way to have your own search your own search engine running on your own infrastructure and it's really something for you to go out and use so I think this is a really cool little application. It's open source. It's self-hosted, of course. If you enjoyed this video, it was short. But like, subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can come along on the journey with us. And I'll talk to you next time.